Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at another amazing ship from the Steam Workshop. This time we're taking a look at the Hatteras Battleship. Now this one's been designed by both Hyper and Herlock, and I have to say, it really takes a lot of inspiration from other ships I've seen. I can really feel some lines and curves. I can't, can't quite put my finger on what ships I've seen them in, but it feels really nice and familiar to me. Something from maybe very various different sorts of sci-fi. So let's have a look around the exterior and then we'll jump inside and see what's going on in there. So as we come to the front of the ship, the first thing you'll notice is this area right here. Now, having a look at the gravity generators, you're probably thinking, yes, it's a gravity launched missile. So this little warhead here can be launched, of course, only in a space environment. We're down on the planet now, so it simply just drop out the front. It won't be really too effective. But you can see they've got a cool little launch bay for it. Now, as we work our way around the side, you'll notice one of two things. Let's look at the detail that's going on in this arm. That's fantastic. And you can see as well, we've got the missile launcher turrets. And a lot of these turrets have self-welding systems because if a turret goes down and can't fire because it's destroyed, it's pretty much useless. Them self-welding systems are going to keep them alive for much longer and allow them to lay down the hurt. So this ship is actually a mixture of all three thrusters. You'll see mainly hydrogen and ion, but there is a few atmospheric thrusters tucked in here because it is capable of going down to a planet. And I think, in my opinion, any well, pretty much every ship now should be capable of going down to a planet, working in space and working in pretty much every environment. It needs to be quite versatile. So as we come back up to the ship, you'll notice we've just skipped past the nameplate there on the side. And we're already taking a look at the broadside. So this thing is seriously packing some missiles. You can see each one of them pods with a little bit of blue lighting there. Just to absolutely scare the hell out of you. When a volley of these is going to go out. Oh, I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of it. I'll tell you that. We've also got some missile turrets tucked in here. In their own little armoured housing here. Yes, there is a slight risk they could hit that block in front of them. And destroy themselves. But for the most part, if these just lay down a few rockets in the direction of an enemy ship. It's going to be really quite useful. Now the actual body of the ship here starts to expand out in this section you'll notice there's like a, a ribbed sort of pattern that goes through this ship you can see some of the recesses as well i quite like these little bulging areas i'm not too sure how to describe them but yes more more of this in ship designs please let's have a quick wrap underneath as well so you can see majority of the hydrogen thrusters are tucked in this section of course they've got to keep it afloat in them high g environment and they are working hard to do so here so as i was saying the ship expands out in this section and you'll notice that we've got more protected turrets in this section with more welders to back them up of course it's going to chew through a lot of supplies keeping them things alive but it's definitely worth having them because if you don't have any turrets you're not going to be able to defend yourself so coming around the side here to where the area starts to expand out you'll notice we've got these really cool tucked in thruster type housings we've got the iron the hydrogen staggered back and another iron there. If we wrap ourselves a little bit further underneath as well, you'll notice more of these little thruster housing areas. So I'm expecting some great maneuverability from this battleship. Very nice indeed. They seem to really enjoy using stairs as well. You'll see a lot of stairs in this rear segment. I'm guessing this is acting as some sort of venting to the design. But still really nice indeed. We've got a little dent there. Looks like someone's either pranked this trying to park it or maybe someone's friendly fired it. I've definitely not done it. Well, I'd hope not. So as we come into the rear section, we start to feather back down into a thinner point. But you can see some of these little reductions in the armor sections, just creating a little bit of shadow and contrast, leading into these rear weapons that are receding once again with a lovely selection of welders around them. Let's have a look at the rear thrust pack. Now, if you're like me, a good thruster or cell thrusters or whatever you want to call them, really make a ship's design especially when it's flying away from you and this one does not disappoint we've got iron thrusters down the center we've got two hydrogen either side with these little six hydrogen thrusters in the cell i like how they've wrapped them in the little catwalk or interior corridors these old blocks they're really nice for doing things like that just adds a little bit of protection and also a new and fresh look to them. Of course, this overhang as well to the rear segment is really nice. And I was thinking, yes, if you got in here, you might be able to do some damage here. There is a Gatling gun turret there, so there is a slight weakness from Hydra Manning, but pretty much every ship is vulnerable to that. So we've had a look around the exterior. Some last things to bring attention to, though, before we go. 
is we've got the observation bridge right on the top there and we also have the control room at the front here for firing the missile just tucked in that area there's also a centralized bridge that's much better protected so we've seen the exterior let's fly in through the hangar here and now we're inside the blue lighting theme continues as we go into the hangar bay and we have i believe it's four connectors on either side so a total of eight possibilities to dock pretty small ships here because there is only three blocks between them so you either dock one large one or you dock maybe some small drones we've got some lighting we've got the controls here in this section and we've got the door that leads to the front of the ship so let's go through here first so everything is nicely labeled but i still find myself getting lost in the ship so we've got the hospital upper deck we've got the support decks and you can see it's labeled just the same so we'll go to the support deck so a lot of this is access so that you can maintain the actual ship itself such as the reactors port side airlock the airlocks in the ship are really nicely tucked away you'll see in the design there just a little door like that there's a few of them going across the ship so it would be quite survival capable i believe this i mean the thing with any survival capable ship you've got to really have it prepared on all fronts and some of the tactics you come against you just can't be prepared for but i think this one's got a few good things going for it so down here more gravity access and if we come up into this section we've got the timer blocks and just above it we actually have the launch bay here itself as well complete with projector so once the warhead is launched you can project one back up so accessing the upper deck now we've gone one floor up we've got medical in this section like the signpost told us below we've also got a little bit further through here various little turrets and defense we've got the starboard batteries support so if we come through here and go up so the batteries and support room the important thing is people need to load these up so you can see we actually got ourselves various different connectors so you can load them up and you can connect them to the car containers if necessary We've also got the top of the hangar acting as a little bit of a floor in there. Very cool indeed. Starboard airlock and we've got the aft decks and engine room through here. So over here we've got the hydrogen section. We're going to cut through the magazine in the centre. So this is where the majority of the ammo storage is. It's in a very protected part of the ship. Very cool indeed. Come back down the other side and we are in the opposite hydrogen tank. So it's mirrored most of the way. So let's go to the bridge and the engine room. So we wrap our way around here and we head into the bridge. So back up through here. And you can see we've got damage control in that section. We've also got a few really nicely placed interior turrets for raiders. So if someone was coming up there, that interior turret would have a good chance of catching them out. So well thought out. Damage control. We have the projector. We can project the blueprint of the ship back up. And if necessary, do some repairs on the move. Very cool indeed. And we have the main central bridge. We'll be back here shortly. So I'm going to stick my character in here ready for the test flight. So coming up the floor, we can have a quick look around. You can see that this room is very well protected. There is multiple layers of armor in the way from all directions. And we've also got the observation. I forgot to show you this. So this is the view bridge. So of course, it's important to be able to look out and pilot your ship from a pretty bridge as well. So you can do that from here. Really nice, all sort of around view. And as soon as stuff starts to hit, jump down below and you are protected. Very, very cool indeed. Now there is a few more rooms I want to show you. So we're going to dive ourselves back into the ship. So you can see we've got the bridge. There is multiple floors here and it is easy to get lost if you're not too careful. You can see these little pods they built with the gyroscopes. So if we just drop ourselves down, Let's have a quick look what's underneath the hangar, so it's just flooring and thrusters. Bringing ourselves around into this segment, we've got cargo and storage in this. We have the main reactor. Gravity room reactors on either side, very nice indeed, as well as the hangar control. And let's have a little look through here, so that access to the conveyor, and does this access the nuclear reactor? Look at that, more welders underneath. So they are plan, planning for this thing to get hit pretty hard. The only issue is with all these welders, if pipes do get destroyed, I'm hoping that they have multiple access points to all the pipes. So more maintenance going through there. And we have hangar control. I've not shown you this room. This is a really cool one. So you can access both the doors on either side. So I've not covered the whole of this ship, but I feel if I kept looking into each other, all the rooms, we'd be here all day. So let's begin a little bit of the test flight. So first thing first, Let's accelerate with this thing. So remember, we're in gravity. One of the few ships that I've looked at recently that can actually come down to a planet. 
So, yeah, we've got some good acceleration. I bet we've got some good slowdown as well with the amount of thrusters. Really good. Let's actually attempt to bring the nose up a little bit and leave the planet as we go. Yeah, it shouldn't have any problems doing this. I do love a ship that can come down. Uh, we've also got our access to our backup engines. So we've got hydrogen engines on board here as well, in case everything else fails. Lots of redundancy. I do like to see that in a ship design. And our gyroscopes are that powerful. We can maneuver quite easily. Very cool indeed. Let's check what's on some of the other tabs. It's always useful to do. So we've got jump drives on the next tab. We've got our missile launchers. Let's have a launch if we can. So it's on. We're not going to be able to access these, are we? So yeah, we're just we're just turning them on and off. So that's that's both of the broadsides there. Then we've also got our connection. There we go. You can see that little pod coming out the bottom there. So if we do need to dock this to a station or whatever, we can do so. Perfect indeed. So we've got everything pretty much set up, easy to access. A very quick and manoeuvrable ship. Let's just bring this into a little bit of a bank here. Yeah, it's definitely a sort of ship that I'd want to fight with in a multiplayer environment. We've got a lot of turrets. Of course, we've not got a lot of coverage to the front, but if anyone gets on your broadsides, you're going to deliver a lot of damage to them. Overall, a really nice ship. Let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below, and I will see you next time. There'll also be a link to it down there as well, so make sure you check it out.